Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Also, welcome if you're new. Know, so here at Universal Studios 4 for a regular park update, seeing what's going on here, what is new, and the changes in the park as well from Halloween Horror Nights to Christmas. So come along with me for a great Universal day. And entering the park today, it is November 3rd, so tomorrow is the last day of Halloween Horror Nights. So first things first, we're actually going to Universal Studios store first and see what is inside of there, the discounts they might have. So we were just in there the other day, it was 30% off, so we're going to see what today is. And also last time looking at these little window facades over here, it's pretty awesome. So you got The Last of Us, you got Chucky, and also Stranger Things. And also coming to this side over here, you do have a little boo over here and also Universal Monsters Unmasked. Starting off over here at the Universal Monsters Unmasked shirt. This is how in Horror Nights on it, but 70% off. It was just 30% off the other day, so that's a pretty big jump on discount. And coming around, most of everything is 70% off, including Stranger Things stuff. They got the Hellfire Club, the denim jacket over here, mugs. That's actually a really cool mug. Like, take a look at that. So that would be like 70% off. Hopefully it is $16. Honestly, it's a pretty cool mug. And they do have plenty of the last of Us shirts over here. Check that out. I think I think I want one or not because like it is a big IP to share and it'd be cool to have. And also here's these uh, beverage holders, $3.99. I think the other day they were like $7.99. So that's a pretty good deal. Now before I actually make a jump on something over here and pull the trigger, I still want to go to the actual tribute store and see what's over there. They might have something different. And look at the Universal Monster shirts. They actually don't have my size, so I might have to go to the store after all. <laughs> all right, so right now it is only about two o'clock in the afternoon. A lot of the stuff is already gone. If you are looking for a specific size, but now I'm gonna go to the tribute store and see if I can find something my size. And now coming into Minion Land, I always like to look at the wait times to compare it. Uh, we got Minion Mayhem at 15 minutes, and also Crossmit, brand new Villain Con Blast, 15 minutes. And now it's time to check out the tribute store. This is probably the last time we'll see the tribute store here this year. But let's we'll take a look at it. We'll see what's inside. And now coming into the tribute store, we got some holiday stuff over here. From Earl, ship to Hollywood. It's pretty cool. To Martha, from Earl, to Gerg, from Earl, and also ship to Hollywood. This is a good confirmation that the brand new tribute store is in Hollywood. And we'll see that in a little bit later in the vlog. And coming inside a tribute store is definitely more common than an actual studio store. If you're looking for some for merchandise for Halloween Horror Nights, discounted. And this is what I'm looking for. Hopefully I have my size. This is the shirt with all the houses on there. So it's $33 and you get the 70% off on it. All right, I have acquired the shirt. I like this shirt because it has all the houses on there. And walk to the next section. I actually got a last of a shirt I found, but also still looking at over here at the uh, Stranger Things merchandise, the Eddie Guitar Sipper. $5.99, but they don't have any. Maybe I might have some to um, check out. We'll see. All right, shirts acquired. I only got two shirts. I got the last of a shirt and also the shirt with the 10 houses on it. I won the shirt with the uh, originals on it. I only saw like three of them, but they're only like smalls and extra smalls. But it is what it is. Maybe I could find it somewhere else down the road. But for now, that's it. I think it's a pretty good deal so far what I got. And also as we head on the Hollywood Boulevard, we actually have an update over here in the lagoon. Check this out. I don't know what they're gonna do over here. It's kind of like platforms or something like that. It's kind of cool. And we're now here at Hollywood Boulevard. Here is the brand new holiday tribute store. Looks awesome. I think they actually add this red to it. Looks pretty cool. Now the holidays do start here, November 17th, but this might open a little bit earlier, so we'll keep a lookout for that. And right outside of Five and Dime, they actually do have this A-frame sign that's actually in front of the tribute store and as well as the All, All Houses They Produce store in Howl's Adventure. But get a postcard with Earl. Look at that. Choose one of five designs. That's actually really awesome. And exiting the Hollywood Boulevard, we actually do have a brand new little thing over here for the trolls. Check that out. It's trolls band together little backdrop with the troll meet and greet. It's pretty awesome. And when I was also exiting, look at this studio directory. We actually have a Illuminations Villain Con Minion Blast directions over here. It's pretty awesome. And now coming to Kid Zone, we can see some brand new construction for the new DreamWorks land. And a lot of stuff is actually going on with this like facade work of like, I don't know what it's going to be yet. But also we can take the new coaster out. Well, it's not a new coaster, but revamped coaster for whatever it's going to be for DreamWorks. And here's a close look at the construction. 
Looks really awesome. I love the vibrant colors. And also in SpongeBob store pants, we do have Squidward and Patrick doing some meet and greets right now. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Now making our way around the park, seeing the sign for Nightmare Fuel Revenge Dream for the last time. Let me know in the comments just below. What did y'all think about this show? And now coming through London, we're actually going to go to Diagon Alley and see if there's anything new inside there and if it's set for the holidays. All right, entering Diagon Alley. Okay, so nothing yet. So usually when you enter Diagon Alley, you see actually Christmas decorations on Green God's Bank and stuff, but maybe a little after Horror Nights. And also Diagon Alley is very busy right now. Like, take a look at this. So looking over here on the other side, Diagon Alley, about a fair amount of people over here as well. And you also got a little show going on for the Tales of the Beetle and the Bard. And now over here at the main attraction, Escape from Gringotts, posted 120 minute waits. Yeah, I believe it. All right, now I just got out of Diagon Alley. Now we're here at King's Cross. It's a 65 minute wait to go to Islands of Adventure. And also recently they had an update over here for Hermione Granger's voice on the Hallway Express that's a little more accurate to the movies. Went out over here in San Francisco, checking out the Beat Builders. Also, they draw a lot of people over here. All right, watch the Beat Builders, fun as always. But right across from that, again, here's Lagoon with this um, platform Universal is building. Now, we don't know what it's gonna be for. I don't like to talk about rumors, but until we find out what it is, be really interesting to think about what they could do with it and it works out before we end the vlog today we're gonna see the platform building one more time all right guys that's gonna do for universal studios for having a little bit of a park update see what's going on here in studio because the other update we were in islands adventure checking out all the grinchman stuff but really awesome to see everything going on right here and also one more day left of halloween horror nights and after that the park will be transforming into christmas time i'm actually really excited for it and also, Universal just released a date for Mardi Gras already, which is pretty awesome. And it lets people um, save up and also just plan their trip for Mardi Gras if you are planning to come to Mardi Gras next year. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, make a big old thumbs up and subscribe to for more future content. I'll see you guys next one. Thank you so much for watching.